May 1st, 2015 from Roosevelt University in Chicago, Illinois. It was the 2015 NFL Draft. And with the 51st overall pick, the 19th pick in the second round, acquired from the Houston Texans, the Cleveland Browns select Nate Orchard, the defensive end from Utah. He's 6'3", 250 pounds. And while he was with the Utes, he had 134 total tackles, 76 were solo tackles, 30 tackles for losses, 22 sacks, 4 passes defended, and 6 forced fumbles. His final season at Utah, he had 84 tackles, 54 of which were solo tackles, and 21 tackles for losses, and 18 and a half sacks, 3 passes defended, 3 forced fumbles. So he had a huge year last year, 18 and a half sacks. I mean, this guy gets after the quarterback. Let's look at his numbers from the combine at the 40-yard dash. His time was 4.8 seconds. His vertical jump, 31 and a half inches. His broad jump, 115 inches. His three-cone drill, 7.28 seconds. And his 20-yard shuttle, 4.43 seconds. And his 60-yard shuttle, 12 point zero six seconds you know he was in the senior bowl he had a huge year he was a second team all-american first team all pack 12 and he also won the ted hendricks award as the top defensive end in the ncaa in college football so he had a really big year last year he said he's tall he's got big hands good arm length he's fast he can get to the quarterback you know, uh, he's probably going to be moved to linebacker, although he was playing. And, you know, he can play that elephant position. You know, he can play, um, you know, more like a 3-4, but also a 4-3. So he's a really good player. He gets after the quarterback. I think this is a huge, uh, you know, get here for the Browns. A very smart pick for Cleveland. You know, it definitely should help out with that defense, and he can help out right away. He said uh, he'd probably be playing more, you know, outside linebacker in the pros, you know, with his size. But uh, <laughs> I think it's an excellent pick for Cleveland. Kind of a steal here at this point. He said he had huge numbers in his last year in college. He's definitely, uh, you know, a really fast player. You know what I'm saying? He, like I said, he gets after the quarterback. You know, he gets those sacks, so... Definitely something that can help out the Cleveland Browns. Is they've got you know a pretty good defense, but he should fit in really nicely and be able to contribute and help out. So that was a good pick. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Did you think they should have went with a different position or player, or are you happy that they went with Nate Orchard? Either way, let me know in the comment section. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions. Thank you very much for listening. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day. And have a good weekend and enjoy all the sports.